is it, where does it come from, and how do we treat it. This is a view of the left atria looking at it from the back. So if you see the image here, on the right you have the SVC up here. SVC. Down here you have the IVC and you have the right atria all over here. Okay. And here you have the left atria with the left superior pulmonary vein, left inferior, right inferior, right superior. As you see in this drawing, there are muscular fibers that are around the veins. And the veins themselves also have smooth muscle. So, not as much as arteries, but they do have smooth muscle. Every muscle is able to conduct electrical impulses. Atrial fibrillation, the, there's two types of AFib. Paroxysmal, well, there's three types. Paroxysmal, persistent, and long-standing persistent, or permanent. Most of the patients with paroxysmal AFib have AFib because there are electrical signals that come from the pulmonary veins and travel into the heart, creating, let's call it short circuits. Basically, the electrical signal from the vein will come into the heart and because of a different orientation of the fibers and different conduction speed, it will find some cells that are ready to be activated while other cells that are right next to it are not ready to be activated. And then another one is act ready to be activated, this one is not, this, well, this one is yes, this one is not, this one is not. So you're going to find a lot of different states at which the cells are ready or not to be activated. And the way I try to explain it to our patients is that all this chaos interferes with the normal conduction of electricity. Normal conduction of electricity on the heart goes pretty straightforward. goes from, let me change this real quick. So you have the upper chambers, the atria, right? Right atria, left atria, left ventricle, right ventricle. Normal activation starts up here in the sinus node. And the electricity, the electrical signal of the atria travels in waves. It travels kind of like this. And as it travels, the atria contract. So between here and there, imagine these are cells of the atria. The conduction goes straight like that. Now, if on top of that, right here you have another group of fibers of the cells, uh, fi muscle fibers. Now the electricity will have to kind of turn to the on this direction and start going on that way at one speed and on this direction at a different speed. So now suddenly you have two different speeds at which the electricity travels through the heart. So when the electricity comes out of the pulmonary veins and is going on multiple directions, there's room for an electrical signal to go on this way and then it comes back to the same place that it started. Same thing over here. It goes back and around. And same thing over here. So that is what tends to what we believe gives origin to AFib. So we all agree that